If you could have a drink with anyone in the theater world, who would it be? I'm Anthony Caparelli, and I'm running through my list. Each week, I'll sit down with cast members, bartenders, and personalities from New York's theater district and get a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like to live, work, and play on Broadway. Come have a drink with us on Broadway Bartender. Welcome to Broadway Bartender. My name is Anthony Caparelli, and we are here, as always, at New World Stages in the heart of Manhattan's theater district, home to my shows, The Imbibe, A Spirited History of Drinking, and The Imbibe Day Drinking. And today we are going to um, make a cocktail that is relevant to our special guests. It's called a Bronx cocktail, and if you don't know what show we're talking to today, then take two seconds and Google Broadway and Bronx while I make the drink. All right, we're gonna start with, um, as, as we usually do, a mixing tin, about halfway full of ice. And this is a variation on the Martini Manhattan family of drinks. Um, it's, it's closer to a martini in that it's got a gin base, but it does have sweet vermouth in it also. Um, so we're gonna do about two ounces of gin per drink, and I'm making four drinks because I have three guests. And then we want just about one half an ounce each of sweet and dry vermouth per drink. And then we want to shake this really, really well to chill and also dilute this. I am gonna cut it just a bit with some fresh orange juice. And I don't like a whole lot of orange juice in this drink, so I'm gonna do just a quarter of an orange per drink, so this is gonna be one whole orange. Shake that up a bit. And I don't want this, the orange juice will foam quite a bit, kinda of like uh, if you use dairy or cream. So I put that in second, and I'm not gonna shake it that much longer after I put the orange juice in, because you'll see, once I pour it, that I get a lot of head out of that orange juice. And this is a classic Bronx cocktail. Really, really great drink. Used to be a lot more popular than it is. And I'm gonna garnish this with a peel of orange, which I'm just gonna go around the rim and pop that oil. And this is for my special guest this week from A Bronx Tale, if you haven't figured it out. Yeah. Rory Max Kaplan, Carrie Tedder, and Keith White. Okay, so first off, order of business is you gotta taste this and tell me know what you think, gentlemen. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin bam bam. Salute all that stuff. Yeah. Here's the bar. Ooh. Oh yeah. You like? Wow, that's hella tasty. It's nice, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Very good. So what's oh, really sip, yeah. what's really easy to do with this drink is to put too much orange juice in it. Mm. And then that gin and the vermouth doesn't come through. Vermouth is really, really delicate. So you just want a little bit of that orange juice to kind of sweeten it up. So a Bronx tail, dudes. Boom, all right, baby. I just saw you guys, yes. and you were awesome. <laughs> and I want you to tell me about a Bronx tail that went from a one-man show to an amazing movie, yes. to an amazing musical. Yeah. So the crazy thing is, watching the movie, this isn't something. And I've watched the movie a lot, and I'm in theater, and it never occurred to me to turn this into a musical. Right. But it works like gangbusters. Yeah, yeah. This guy's been in since uh, since Paper Mill, so we I mean. We did Paper Mill, we did Paper Mill. That was, see, that's another thing too, is like this New Jersey crowd. I'm from California, <laughs> I didn't grow up with this movie, but Northeast, this, it really is tradition, family, like every, this is like yes. the yeah. movie. And that's what like our audience is, a lot of people, it's their first musical because they like grew up with this movie or whatever. They'll be quoting the movie during the show. <laughs> there was a guy last night that was yelling about the car. He was, we have people that car. yell out in the middle of the, that's the car! In the middle of the show, we're like, sir, this is not a participatory <laughs> event. <laughs> that's great. That's unbelievable. But they're great, the, uh, the audiences love it and yeah. they seem to leave yeah. feeling very satisfied well, with it. And when we're on stage every day knowing the story and the progression of the show, going from the one man show to the movie to, it, to like going back into the one man show again. Yeah, Chaz turned wow. down a million dollars because you know he wanted to he wanted to be sunny in the movie, and they were like, "Whoa, you know, I'm, you know, no disrespect, but you know, you know, who are you? You yeah, know, at, no at the time, yeah. you know, and he, right. and he and he and he said, no. I mean, he you know he had the words of his father in his head, you know, with all the lines that we hear in the show, and uh, yeah, he turned it down. Then finally, finally, he was yeah. doing the one man show. Uncle Bob De Niro, he knocks on his dressing room door one day and says. I, we love your script, I want to direct it, you'll play Sonny, let's do this. One of the greatest performances, I think, ever on the screen is him as Sonny, just yeah. absolutely. It's iconic, yeah. 
Paper Mill, explain, because not everyone um, is from the Northeast who's watching uh, the series. Paper Mill, I, I know what that is. It's a big deal, yeah. but t talk to us about it's what that's like. It's a great regional house in Milburn, New Jersey. And um, it's kind of just like in this little, little sweet town with this great deli and like a nice park and everything like that. And it's, um, it's very family oriented. It's very much like our show. And Chaz would come to the show then and people wouldn't even call him Chaz. They'd call him Sonny. Yeah. No I mean, that way. movie's been, what, what is it, 24 years now or something like that? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, and people still call him Sonny. Like yeah. it's, it's Just iconic. The other it's his day, role. In our theater, one of our ushers shouted out at Chaz. He said, Chaz, Chaz, I was in the movie. <laughs> I was one of the young girls in the movie that they funny shot in Queens. <laughs> and this is true. They, she was. Yeah, she said, "I got pictures from it. I want you to sign my pictures from when we filmed the movie back in '92." I That's guess. Cool. I know, Chad said, yeah, yeah, come up there and I'll sign after the show. Yeah. It's crazy. That's unbelievable. <laughs> and because of that one-man show, Chaz knows what works and what's not going to yeah, work. Absolutely. Because he's been doing it, it for 20 that's years. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got to see during the rehearsal process, he was doing it over in Atlantic City. I, I forget which casino, the Golden, oh, Golden Nugget, I want to yeah. say, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and he, uh, uh, we, he invited us all out to, to go see it. We all went and saw it. And the fact Two that he's literally minutes. one dude for, I don't know if it was a 90, 70 minutes, 70 minutes Huge, something like that, yeah. was playing every single character, just like bouncing back and forth. It doesn't you know, take he, a sip of water. It doesn't take a sip of water. Hardly yeah. takes a breath. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my machine. Machine. Just operating like a machine. I didn't know that he was still doing it. Oh, yeah. And it sells out when he does it. <laughs> I, would I, do. thought, I, would. I thought we were going to some small theater. It was a 2,000 seat ballroom. Yeah. Huge, packed full of people. Yeah. And one guy up there entertaining everybody. Yeah. I would walk a mile through garbage to see that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. Yeah, it's pretty I, good. Yeah. One guy, it's just there's. There's like a lamp post and him. That's like the whole set. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, he paints a picture literally just in front of your eyes. It's it's, so cool. it's pretty incredible. Yeah. It's awesome. It's I told wild. him like, Chaz, that had every reason, every excuse to be lame, and it, <laughs> and it wasn't that. because of him. I told yeah. him to his face. I was totally. like, the air conditioner's mad loud. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't even see him. Then all of a sudden it starts, and you just like, yeah. You know, you lean in. It's awesome. And oh, it's yeah. cool working for a person, like a, you know, someone who's a writer who's also still an actor. Right. So he knows sort of the ins and outs of what an actor has to do in order to tell the story, rather than someone who's just putting it on the page going, do this, do this, Make do it this. work. Make yeah, it work. make it work, that's right. yeah. That's right. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Okay, so your role in the show. I'm Slick. I'm the um, neighborhood racist. <laughs> yeah, so friendly neighborhood racist. Yeah, very, very um, happy to be here. Right <laughs> yeah, right. Friendly neighborhood racist. Right? <laughs> yeah, I play Slick as well as uh, doo -wop number four, the bass singer in the doo -wop group with these guys and our other doo -wop brother, Dom Nolfi, who plays Crazy Mario. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, very yeah, funny. No, remember, Please come right. see the, yeah, yeah. the movie and from the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 Crazy, yeah. yeah. Quite like a funny <laughs> test. It's his own. Just there's a hand. Yeah. Dude, okay. So, and? I actually play six small parts in okay. the show. So I have just a lot of costume changes. I play um, Lorenzo, the young Lorenzo who plays the saxophone. Yeah. Uh, I play one of the wise guys in the crap game. But you up on the fire escape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. uh, okay. I play, uh, you know, one of the doo ops in the group with these guys. I play neighborhood guy Yo, in a couple of scenes. Who's, the guy? Who's our favorite? And then uh, who? Louis Beans, yo, I play Louis Beans. Louis they, I had a line and they cut it. <laughs> but there's a scene where I just walk across the stage and says, Louis Beans, where's my twenty dollars? All I have to do is run off stage. That's it. That's it. It's very easy. Okay. And then I played the uh, one of the killers. So I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get in a nice shark skin suit. They slap a mustache on me, and yep. I'm a killer. You know? wow. you the first time I've ever fired a gun on stage. So yeah. it's kind of really? crazy. Yeah. Thrilling. Actually. It is. It's, it's like, pretty wow. wild. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And oh, and I, uh, I play uh, handsome Nick. Yeah, no doubt. I was going to say, man. Yeah. The fudge. The money maker. Right? Does camera get blushed? Does it get blushed? <laughs> oh, man, the baby right. signal. <laughs> but it's, uh, um, and uh, do up guy number one. Did you guys, do you have a, a, an acapella background? Do they look for that? Did you I learn it? I do have an acapella. You background. do? Yeah, I grew up singing acapella with my um, school. And then that we, five guys, we started this group called the Five of Hearts. Uh, and what we would do is we'd uh, do like singing grants for Valentine's Day. So we like basically take a day off from school, but still show up to school, sing in different classrooms for people, and we'd make like a hundred bucks each. Yeah. Really? I know we charge yeah. you. I'm like thinking about that now. That's so dirty. <laughs> the I know, dude. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that we would do that, and then I went to be on this. Uh, I was in an acapella, like a youth community uh, acapella group called Till Dawn, mm. part of the Casa uh, Contemporary Acapella Society Association. Yeah. Um, we were like in, uh, involved with that, and uh, our, one of our our leader was. Austin Willisey with the House Jacks. Barbershop, acapella, it's, just, it's killing right now. It's getting hot out here for acapella. <laughs> Finally, well, the nerds like, are like. There's nothing else 
sounds like it. I mean, there's no facsimile. The, you, like, you, you have that sound, and we can attest when it clicks, something altogether different yeah. takes place. Yeah. And yeah. there are nights when we're off, and it definitely. Uh, and but the nights when we're on, it like, really makes a difference. That's like definition you know? of magic, absolutely. Yeah. It's like that yeah, sound they, is like, you can't. So in barbershop, they call it ringing the chord, and mm. you'll actually hear the overtones it's echo cute. through the room. Yeah. It's For, crazy. Yeah, it's, inc it's incredible. Well, and you uh, feel it in your body. We, we rehearse, we, we go over our stuff like before every show. It's like we have we haven't missed a day since mm -hmm. opening uh, or uh, since since rituals. previews. It's yeah. very it's like a ritual we have. We just we like speed sing through just about everything that we do. That's that's doo wop in the show. Yeah. We've learned by doing it every day. W with humidity changes things. Yeah. Season changes will change things depending on how cold the theater is. For some reason they keep our theater like a frosty sixty two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, cold body. for comedy. You know? how warmed up our bodies are. I mean we do sure. a lot of dance. Our opening number is like it just out of a cannon go and it's uh, yeah, it is. and so you know that that definitely makes a difference to yeah. how we're singing as well. So it's plus it's, we're it's like sort that. of the bookends of the show. It starts with that four guys under the street lamp singing what's sort of like Dion, I guess. Yeah. And then it ends the show in the same place. Mm -hmm. Basically the same iconic image and the same kind of sound. We, you will, know? we will forever be able to just pick a, an F chord out of yeah. out yeah. thin yeah. air and just do it. <laughs> you now right have now. perfect yeah. notes. Yeah. Right um, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll also, I'll never not know these guys' voices for as long as right. I live. Like, I'll, right. I, 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 will, I will always know these, the sounds of their voices. Wow, yeah. that, guys. Uh, I, I could talk to you guys about just this like just nerdy music stuff like, like ever, stuff, yeah. but I got to get one of you to make a drink. Yo, that's the guy handsome right Nick. there. Handsome, handsome Nick. Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Handsome Nick Let's and rock. earn some green behind the bar. <laughs> All right, good. come on back here. All right, we'll switch cool. places. Over Sweet. Here. Sweet. Mm -hmm. this whole uh, thing, man. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to finish this. Yeah, actually. That's your fault. Yeah, yeah I got to finish this show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what are we yeah, doing we here? Can, not for four hours. I can do like the towel hours. thing right. and just be like, <laughs> so, um, get you guys. So, so you have uh, bartended before or not? I have never. Never bartended, bartended before. before. Um, my fiance is a badass bartender, but that's that's all my association. Really? Yes, she's awesome. OK, cool. Um, but you were telling me before. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. Well, you were like a she steel is. worker or something? What? Oh, God. Jesus. That's these guys. No, I, I worked in a factory for uh, a hot second in like late teens just to like help paper school and, and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, we're going to start with this mixing tin right there. And go ahead Damn. and fill that about halfway with ice. All right, let's do Beautiful. Now, when we, we're going to measure some liquids, and we do that by counting. And you're going to count just like a dance kind of a thing, like just a kind of a, a walking pace. And each count is a half ounce, just so that you know. Well, you're, uh, I'm well, sure your fiance knows this. Here. Yeah. So we're going to do one ounce of vodka sure. per drink. We got this nice crystal head vodka right there. Right. So I want you to count to uh, eight, and that's going to be one ounce each. Count them all. Beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. So we got some vodka. By the way, the name of this drink is called the 155 Belmont. All right. Um, so now we have some light rum and some dark rum in the speed rail right uh, by your left hand. Grab by the bottle. Yep. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, look at him go, man. Yeah, I watch. I pay attention. Okay. Right you going to go, go for it? You want, we were doing double here? Can you? Uh, sure, why not? I, I have There's one way to find out. The only thing I <laughs> grab You might have to clean up your bar after, Whatever. but we'll see. Right. Let's so see. go ahead and give me uh, a three count. While you're doing it again, look at this guy. Right? Right? Man, he's a natural. Let me tell you, he should be called coordinated Nick, is what you should call him. This guy, right? Very good. It helps very good. Like this, so, right, so now we need some orange juice. I don't know why there's orange juice in every Bronx drink, but right in here, oh. uh, we have oranges. Oh, we're going to go fresh ahead and squeeze, squeeze this guy. Yeah, we fresh squeeze whole, everything. Whole, whole, like whole one? The whole thing right there. I saw you do a little bit like this, and then you flip. And then flip. Mm -hmm. I saw. Really I saw you do it. Maybe he should be called Observant Nick. Mm. Yeah. All, all right. So, and then I one got, more. I got a whole bunch. Observant, smart, coordinated Nick. Observant. <laughs> Nick. There's a ring to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> doing the, the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Great, great, There's four great. guys here. Yeah. Fabulous. Yo, before when you were doing this, by the way, it was pretty mesmerizing. Yeah, I was you like say, that? You were doing some trouble in I would break all your cameras if I tried to. It is. Crazy juggling act. All right, so now you got a clean mixing glass right there. Bam. Yeah, put it right in there, pull it off to one side, and just kind of twist it down and lock it. Goop. I think yeah, it's locked. Good, good. One hand on the bottom of the tin, Bam. one hand on top of the glass, step are. off the bar. Uh -huh. You're going to shake, you're going to push from the shoulder of your top hand to the foot of your bottom hand. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Keep that face. Yeah. Very nice, man. Can we get a zoom in on this? Can we get a zoom on this guy? Look at those guns. Put the guns away. I love it. OK, so go ahead and uh, take that glass off the tin. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, you there you go. Beautiful. Bam. Um, strainer on top of the tin. 
Boom. There Bam. you go. You've seen your fiance this a million times. Yes, I have. And strain it. Now, actually, you know what? Let's put some ice in there. Oh, so sure. you got some ice scoop. You got an ice scoop down there? I do. Yeah, just I go does. ahead and put some ice in those glasses. Uh -huh. Fill her up? Or yeah, or fill her up. Finishing? Fill her up. We always want to go ice. See, there we go. It, it was going to happen. It wasn't going to be flawless, all right? He picks up the two bottles. Nikki no ice. That's what we'll call it. Nikki no ice. Nikki, Nikki <laughs> drops what ice. Is this? It's, uh, <laughs> it's one next year. <laughs> or you're going to have some over here. Over. Oh, 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 okay, oh, guy. Okay, guy. Oh, that's cold, man. Good enough. Feel this guy off. This is bad. That was worse. Okay, strain into <laughs> your glasses. All right, so we're going. Good. Yeah, good. Oh, Look at this guy. He's doing the partial pours and everything. Fantastic, man. Oh, dude. I'm telling I'm you. Proud of you. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they were doing more than uh, making steel at this yes. steel mill or whatever he said. Oh, see there you go. That's okay. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. All right, great. That'll be mine. And then we have um, the most logical of all garnishes in this drink. Where is it? Is a carrot. Oh, good. Wha bam. And that is our is one five five <laughs> Belmont. Let's see what we think of that. Guys, I have distribution here. Let me get the little one. I got you. I got sure. you. Yeah. Yeah. Wants it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers mate. Wow. Thank you, Rory. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks. Rory. You're welcome, guys. Tip well. Ooh. How'd I do? That's pretty good, man. All right. Mm, that is awesome. Rum and vodka. I don't know that I've ever had Just rum like and vodka. vodka. Yeah. Super, would, that's a dangerous yeah. one, actually. It's yeah. Pretty, that's pretty easy. Yeah. That's rocking. Awesome. <sighs> Guys, what a good time. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you not only for coming to the show, but for honestly putting on uh, a musical that just means so much to me personally. Um, and, and I know my family will feel the same way when they all see it, because they're gonna. Mm -hmm. Website for the show. Uh, a Bronx Tale the Musical dot com. Personal websites you guys want to plug? At Broadway Vegan. B Way Vegan is B -way my Instagram really? handle. Really? Yeah. How'd you get yeah. B Way Vegan? Yeah, I, uh, there was no little corner for vegans on Broadway, so I started one. Okay. Follow me. Good, good job. <laughs> got three vegans right here. Um, three you can vegans. Find me at three vegans? Three yeah. vegans right here. <laughs> We're taking over, baby. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hence yeah. the awesome. carrot. It's gone. Um, you know? my, uh, <laughs> yeah, you ate the carrot. You ate the carrot. Yeah. All right. Um, at It's Your Boy Kevin. Keith White. It's your boy. It's your boy, it's Keith your boy. White. See, that one I can imagine being available. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you, just, you, got, uh, you just got uh, RoryMaxKaplan.com or find Rory Max Kaplan on Facebook Woo. or uh, Instagram, yeah. I love it. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks Cheers. So yeah. 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 Cheers. Salud. 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 Much Folks, love. BroadwayBartender.com, links, recipes. Tune in next week for some more guests. Drink well, drink responsibly. Well, Cheers. Yes, yeah, we're <laughs> 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 Keep rolling. Good mm. job, guys. So much fun, man. Really nice work. So Thank much you. fun. It was Good. fun. Oh, so we're we gonna work do too loud. Uh, <laughs> a lot of clapping and shit. <laughs> no, so I think that's sound guy. Sound guy's like, oh, oh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, we're gonna jump behind the bar. We're gonna take some pictures. Oh, great. Let's do it. Drink whatever drink you want. All right, all right. No, the Rock of Ages started here. No one even came to review the show. I mean, it was just no respect, and we just built this this word of mouth thing, and um, it became a juggernaut for sure. And you know, onto five Tony nominations and and a global brand, and it's a pretty cool thing to be a part of. And it all started right here in this room.